What's up, what's up guys, Simon here. In this episode of Tech Visibility, we're gonna try out something new, unbox it and review it. I gotta tell you guys, I'm super excited. Recently, we got upgraded here in our area to AT&T fiber cable. So for $80 a month, I was able to get one gig up and one gig down speeds using AT&T fiber. It's probably the coolest thing to happen to us since the internet. All right, so we went ahead and bought the Eero 6 tri-band. This is the Eero 6 Pro tri-band mesh router system. This is supposed to cover up to 6,000 square feet. It's supposed to give you uh, speeds of download up to a gig and upload up to a gig. So I am extremely excited about this Eero Pro. It's a big long box. There's a 30 day trial for Eero service and we're gonna go ahead and unbox and review this. Basically the way mesh works is there are several points of Wi-Fi and they all work together creating a big cloud of internet. Let's see if my speeds improve with the Eero 6 Pro. Let's unbox it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up as well. It's super simple with the Eero app and we'll be able to basically see if the download speeds are a gig or the upload speeds are a gig. Okay, so here's the box. This is the Eero 6 Pro or the Eero Pro 6. Now, a little bit about Eero. Eero was a company that actually originated this mesh network technology and then Amazon bought them out. So now they're owned by Amazon. There's a lot of options for the Wi-Fi 6 system. The fastest out there is the Orbi 6. So check that one out if you haven't already. But this one supposedly is pretty good as well. This goes for about $599 on Amazon. Now, their shrink wrap, as you see here, you get three Eero Pro 6s, three power adapters, and one Ethernet cable to connect to your hub. Let's remove the shrink wrap, the best part of this job. And I hope it fits, and it looks like it does fit in here in the camera. And there they are. This is the presentation. This is the Eero Pro 6. These are basically the model numbers. This says San Francisco on it. Very interesting. I guess they got started in San Francisco. They're definitely heavy, guys. So they're all the same. We're gonna go ahead and look at one. And in here is a quick start guide. So you gotta download the app. You basically unplug it, disconnect your modem or anything connected to it. Begin with the modem unplugged, open the app and follow along. So uh, overall, it discovers everything. You just gotta unplug everything. And here's the connectors for it. And you get your power adapter, you get your ethernet cable, which is really nice. Power adapter as well to plug in your Eros at different locations. And you get some instructions. So meet the source. That's pretty simple. Now, these are booklets, by the way. So this one is not, okay? But this one was a booklet, so I'm gonna put that to the side. And it tells you home Wi-Fi just got more secure. There's advanced security, there's encryptions, and that's pretty cool. Another power adapter for the second one, and I assume the third one's gonna have a power adapter as well. And this is just some information for policy and rights and so forth. Now, the third one does have a power adapter right here. And so you get three power adapters, three Eros, and that's pretty much it. That's all that's in the box. It's very simple. Now, looking at the Eero, they're all identical, guys. So it doesn't matter which one you take. One of them is going to be the gateway, okay? There's not one that's designated to plug into your modem. Whichever one you plug into your modem first is going to be that one. You plug it in to the modem and what happens is it will tell you that this is the gateway you'll get to name your network and then connect your two other eros and these are significantly heavy so it doesn't matter if you mix and match them don't worry about that we're going to go ahead and plug the first one into our gateway to see what type of speeds we're getting in terms of download and upload, okay? And we're gonna be able to see what this Eero can actually do in terms of our overall mesh speed in our network here at our home, at my home office. So 
we're also building a warehouse and we're gonna see what they do in the future possibly in the warehouse or we may have to go with the Orbi instead. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and guide you guys through the setup of the app, which is basically plugging in the Eros and we're gonna go ahead and do that process and I will film as I have done it and showcase the download speeds as we get them going here. Uh, I'll go ahead, once I set up, I'll discuss it. Obviously, I'll take some pictures of me setting it up, but I'll discuss how it will be in terms of download. Okay guys, so I'm done setting up the Euro. It took me about 15 minutes to set up three locations. In fact, I had to run upstairs and downstairs. Now the home I have is three floors. So it's about 3,500 square feet and we have a lot of dead spots. With the new Eero Pro 6 Wi-Fi's, we were actually able to set up pretty simply and I'm gonna go ahead and flash these screens that I recorded on my phone across. So the first step was to plug it in and and by not powering it on, however, but you would plug in the ethernet cables from your modem into your Eero. Then it would tell you to power it on and then you were told to basically turn on the Bluetooth or enable Bluetooth and you would do that. And then it would allow you to set up a passcode of your network as well as the name of the network. Now, I didn't wanna change every single device, so here's a tip, go ahead and set the same device or same network name and the same password that was on your previous device or Wi-Fi router. So for example, if you had your network named home sweet home and the password was password one, two, three, keep the same password and the same network. This way you don't have to change all your cameras, your computers and everything. Everything is just connected again to that device, which was really neat. So I took pictures of my setup and excuse all the cables that you see here, but overall, the setup had to be this way where these cables were actually pretty much everywhere because of all the rooms that are connected through the ethernet cable. So there's a hub there. So I plugged my Eero directly into the fiber modem and from the fiber modem, I went ahead and plugged in the second ethernet port into the Cisco switch, which then connects every single room. Now, if you have good cable ran through every single room in your house, for example, I was able to find three or four lines that were actually one gigabyte in speed. So I hardwired through the switch the Eero to that gigabyte line. If you don't have a gigabyte line, you're gonna have to position and place the Eeros in place where you get optimum coverage. For me, I went and plugged in into lines that I know have a gigabyte signal coming in. This way, the Eero can then use its mesh and use the connectivity to give me the fastest speed. Luckily, a few of the ethernet ports in my home are still gigabyte ports while all the other ports are cat5 and that means that you are not able to get anything past 100 so that is actually very slow and it's not a cat 5e but a standard cat 5 which is very outdated if you don't have ethernet don't worry i also tested the router without plugging in the ethernet connection and i was able to get actually about the same speeds give or take my location give or take 30 mbps's here and there depending on really where you were standing and you could see some of my tests here as i have done them on the app overall with the Eero pro 6 wi-fi i am getting about double to triple the speeds i was getting with the standard wi-fi router and the at&t uverse fiber includes a wi-fi router that just was not performing well enough the Eero 6 Pro Wi-Fi with the tri-mesh or the tri-band network, that's a mesh network, really did a good job. I am getting download speeds pretty much up to 700 Mbps and overall it's, it's quite well and works quite fast. So I wanna go ahead and do a live test here with you while we're recording. So this is what the speed we're getting. Without any changes or any amplifications, etc. this is what we're doing in terms of numbers here. And it looks like, not bad. So 577 down, 508 up, and I'm all the way downstairs in the office. So it's a one gig service. However, we're only getting half of that here on this network. And I will show you that I'm getting a gig 
if we had a network out here. So check this out, guys. Now, if I test just the AT&T U versus network, so we're getting a thousand megs per second down and or megabytes per second, and then we're getting 996 megabytes per second up. So with the router, however, you're seeing that it's about 554 megabytes per second down and it's testing the up as well. Now, this is strictly for them. the Uverse app. It can detect what it's actually doing with the modem as well. So it's a secondary source and it's about right to where we test it with our speed test. Overall, very happy with it. It's much faster than I was getting in terms of the Wi-Fi that was there. And on top of that, it was easy to set up. It's well priced. You get three euros with it and you eliminate dead spots. I walked around. I did not have any dead spots. I hope you enjoyed this honest review of the Eero 6 Pro, Eero Pro 6 Wi-Fi with the mesh network. If you did, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll check you guys here in the next tech video. Also, check out techvisibility.com. It's our website about the latest uh, tech products, tech news, and reviews. Thanks.